Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a huge tournament video as I'm going to be playing the $200 buy-in 500k guarantee million dollar Sunday Sunday special event. Unlimited re-entry in this thing, so hopefully you don't get in for too many entries, but I'm hoping to bag a huge score here. Oh my gosh, what a spot here. What a spot with aces. So it's open, two calls, three bets. We'll put in the cold four bet. Dream spot with aces on the button here. Like I said, we've basically played no hands the first hour, and then we're waking up and putting this bet in. Player calls pretty quick. We flop the set. Um, never played this player before. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to go for the 10% bet. And then check turns, unless it's a spade. Let's think about checking back, but I think we want to be betting here. So 10 turn, we're going to check here. And then get in on any river. Even like a 5 or 3 of spades, especially given this formation here. Just going to get it in. Don't think either player has much 5x. Hopefully I have pocket 10s, that's my hope. And then just going to jam here. Burp it under pot. All right, so we open on the gun, hijack three bets. We are going to put in the four bet. We get another massive pot here with aces early. Wow, we're all in. Hold. Kings, aces, kings, hold. Ultimate cooler in the 200. Yes, let's go. What a cooler. Aces. I've played like no hands in this tournament except for two in the first hour 15, and they've both been aces. I'm gonna run over to the $200 event, cut off opens, we defend, check raising, flop with the flop nuts. And nine turn. Not the best turn in the world here. But I think still go for a big bet. And ooh, not a good river. I think we're just gonna go for bluff catch here. And we end up being good. I don't really know what I like because I feel like I probably wanna, I don't know if I wanna have a lot of blocks there, but. Ended up being good versus ace queen, so they had top top too. I didn't get a better run out, could have gotten a lot of chips, but still a good pop. So undergun open, low jack flat. We squeeze ace queen suited. Undergun calls. So we go heads up here, jack seven five. I'm gonna go and check back. Take the turn, good turn card, top top here. And we're gonna go for a turn bet. Calls, river four. Um, I think I'm going to go for the jam. Go for a big pot here. Let's say check twice. A lot of times on these like boards here, like, people won't check queen jack just to check call. They get nervous on these. So I'm really going to hope they have like king queen suited. And call off. Maybe a queen ten suited. And just see the full big pot though. Wow, dream spot with kings here. So we open flat. Player jams 34 blinds from the small blind. We're going to rejam. Hopefully it doesn't have aces, and hopefully we hold. Big one here. It's a huge pot. Kings, ace, king, hold. No ace. Yes, on the turn, lock it up. Perfect. All right, so we open ace jack here. Big blind defends. We bet one big blind they raise. We call four on the turn. That's again. Just going to be a call again. Pretty likely to call down on non-club rivers here. Oof. Club river, but we river two pair. Club is interesting. Might call it really small bets. If they check wrap, just to check here. Three, two. So they flop to flush. All right, so cut off open. Defend the nine, seven here. Flop top pair. Pretty good start. Uh, 20 blinds effective. Wish I needed spots stacked up better. I think I maybe am supposed to check raise to go with here. It's big size. I think we actually just jam this. It feels a little big though. I think we can actually. Yeah, I'm probably just going to jam. This might not be correct. So we'll get it in. I would still expect him to call it like fives, sixes, some ace highs here. Oh, ace on the river. 
Oh, it's such a big pot. Man, gotta win those. So, open king's big line defense, 5-5-2. Five, five, Go for quarter pot here. Get check raised. So, obviously against the big line, we are worried about some 5x here. Could have checked back. A deeper stack, absolutely more checking. Shower, we got the more betting I'll do. So, just going to call here. Spade's really bad. Uh, they check. We will check. Really bad river. Would have called any river that wasn't an ace or a spade, but I think we still just want to check back on turn, and they pot it now. I mean, there could be some bluffs. I'd want to be obviously kings of the spades, easy call because we have a spade. I maybe can make arguments for the turn betting there, but I think I don't mind checking. And now, once this player pots river, we're just going to let go of kings on the end. So we have under the gun open off about 32 blinds. We're going to three bet the aces. Damn call. Hold it up. Hold it up. Nice. All right. So big cooler there going our way. Aces versus jacks. Hopefully going to bink one of these tournaments, though. That would be nice. Uh, open ace jack, couple calls here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check. So I do flop a gut shot with ace high here. Multi way. Really hoping for a free turn. I'm trying to think if I can even call. Oof, what a turn. All right, so it does bring in spades, but I think still betting. I would think a lot of times a cutoff and button with our spade draws are going to bet. Big line is going to lead out with spades quite a bit, so I'm feeling pretty good, and we do want to do a little bit of denial here, I think. Or at least charge these hands. Board pair river. I'm going to go for a big bet here. If I get jammed out, I'm going to want to puke, but... I don't really feel like he's going to have the boats here. Like, tens, I don't think he's going to want to check this many ways on a wet flop like that. He's not going to have kings in range. I'm trying to target, like, a king-queen, or, like, king-jack just decides to call. Um, same thought with spades. Like, I don't think they check a lot of spades on the flop. I'm really hoping they have, like, a king-10. King Jack. Just see the full though. Take it down ourselves. All right, open. Defend 8 6 suited. Go ahead and check. That's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call one here. So we got six backdoor flush draw. Ooh, nice turn card. Do some small leading here. And if they raise, I'm probably just going to jam. Well, depending on what size, it might not be big enough to jam. Or might, yeah, the raise size might not be big enough to jam. They do raise. Okay, so we're just going to jam here. Um, hope they call for, like, ace-king, ace-queen, putting him out of flush draw. And a lot of times here, because the thing is, if they have, like, ace-king or something, they're just going to check back a lot. So I want to make them have to pay here for it. Or if they have diamonds. So we're going to jam. Big pot. That's two seconds of their time bank. And eventually folds. We take it down to the 8-6. Factoring and like collecting no rake. And they're at about 1,900. Just hit 1,900 entries. So yeah, it's definitely going to be short. So there's going to be some overlay if people want to get in there late. But. All right, 6-5 here. We're going to check in the big line. Top pair and a gutter. I thought about leading out. Decide to go for check and to check go with it against shorter stacks here. Little dicey against the bigger stack. Flat. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to raise still. And unfortunately, that's what happens. Uh, nine of the turn, I'm going to check the turn here. Not sure the raise is super good with them calling. If it's just against a short stack, I like it. I was trying to stack offers them. I was hoping this player had a lot of folds. Uh, two on the river. I'm trying to think what I do here. I'm just going to go for a check. I'm trying to think if I hero call if they bet. Check, check. We're just good. Nice. That's a big pot to win. All right. So big spot here. This is open, flat, small blind jams, 13. We're going to rejam 67 or just call. I think rejam. So we're all in with queens. This could be a huge pot. Queens, fives. Hold up. Hold up. Nice. Okay. Nice pot going our way up to almost 700k now. Right, so we open kings under the gun. Player three bets off 21 blinds from the small blind. This range, I'm going to imagine, is very strong. Obviously, kings were still happy to get it in. But uh, I'm going to imagine the very strong range. I don't imagine they have many folds. I would be very tight with my get-in range right here. And they do this to us when we open under the gun. But we're going to be in. I imagine we're called very often here. 
Let's get a big pot. Aces. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Knew they were strong, but... Oh, deep in the $200 event running kings and aces. Never fun. Good news, at least it's a player that we covered, but... Alright, so big open. I think still just going to be a flat. So a flat here off 33 blinds. Uh, big blind jams we call if the original opener folds, if they call we fold. But uh, we just flat and flop a set here. Queen eight two. Uh, checks to us. Could it check? I think I still mainly prefer betting, though. It's like king eight two. I might check. Queen eight two will bet. Probably raise. Okay. Just give me a call here. Please don't have queens. <laughs> Please have aces and let me stack you. Um, dry enough board here. We're just definitely just going to call here. Not that I think they have lots of folds, but just going to call king turn. Don't have pocket kings. Don't have pocket queens. Shucks. I bet quarter pot on the turn. I was trying to think if I want to check. They go for check raise again. Oh gosh, this makes me feel sick. I'm just hoping it's aces or king queen here, not kings or queens. We're gonna get it in. This is gonna make me never want to play tournaments again if it's pocket queens or kings. Oh my gosh, they turned it. Oh, I might have just made my retirement from tournaments on that one, guys. I might be it. I might be extremely or strictly a cash game player from here on out. All right, YouTube, but you just saw the unfortunate knockout there in the $200, 500k guarantee. We ran up a very big stack, then lost kings to aces all in pre, then set over set. Um, man, sick, sick ending to a tournament session. But let's look at the final results today. 24 entries, 811 in buy-ins, 515 in caches. Total loss minus 296 here. So not the results we wanted. Obviously, a really, really frustrating way to end a huge event like that. But hope you guys at least enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.